Hi, I'm Nancy with Creative Cuts. Welcome to another video in the Make the Cut Basics tutorial series. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the lattice feature as well as basic shapes to create a pretty lacy frame that can be used on cards or scrapbooking projects. So to start, I'm going to come up to the basic shapes icon and under miscellaneous, there's a shape called plaque and that's the one that we're going to use. It's right here. So I'm just going to double click on it to add one to my mat and it looks like it came in a little bit further down so we'll just move that up. Now I'm going to create my frame for use on a card so I want it to be about three inches. That'll be a nice size for the front of a card. So I'm just moving it up to the top corner here so that I can measure out three inches. There we go. Now I'll just move it away from the edge so I can work with it. Okay, the first thing that I need to do is make a copy of this because I need one copy that's going to turn into the lattice and another copy that's going to be the frame around the lattice. So to do that I'm just going to right click on it and click on copy and then right click again and paste in place and that will give me another copy exactly the same size right on top of the first copy. So now I'm just going to pick that up and move it to the side so you can see there are two copies there. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is create the frame that will go around the outside. So to do that, I'm just going to right click on one of the plaque shapes and come down to Shape Magic and then down to Shadow Layer. And that might have been off your screen. And what I'm going to do is apply an inset shadow. So what that will do is bring the shadow into the shape rather than extending it out of the shape. So I'm going to click on this inset shadow box and then we need to add a little bit of width to the shadow. So you can see as I drag the width slider that the shadow is coming inside there. So we'll make it about that wide. We don't want it too wide and click on accept. Okay, so now you can see that I have a second shape inside the original shape and that's my shadow layer. So now what I want to do, because I still have both of these layers selected, I'm going to join them so that the inside is deleted. So to do that, I'm just going to click down here on the join icon and you can see that when the two layers were joined together, it deleted the inner layer from the outer layer. So that's the outside of my frame. Now I'm going to come over to the second plaque shape and I'm going to apply the lattice to this shape. So to do that, I've just got it selected. I'm going to come down to the lattice icon at the bottom here. Click on that. And you can see that it comes up with a lattice shape. Now what I'm going to do first is click on Apply and Preview on Mat. And what that'll do is show me what the lattice is going to look like in my shape. And from there I can go in and make some adjustments. I can adjust the width of the bars between the lattice. I can adjust the gap, so basically how large the spaces are in the lattice. And I can also adjust the angle of the lattice and the rotation. So you can see the angle just kind of skews it. I want to leave that at zero. Just get it back down to zero there. Whoops, there we go. And then the rotation, it's set at 45 degrees, which I like, so I'm going to leave it at that. Um, but you can rotate it around if you want your lattice to be at a different angle. Okay, so that looks pretty good right about there. So I'm going to click Apply and Preview on Matte again, just to make sure that that's the look that I want, and it is. So I'm going to click on Accept. And now I've got the lattice shape and the frame shape. And then the last step is just to join these two together. So what I'm going to do is move the lattice over top of the frame. And I'm just going to click and drag around both of them. I want these to be lined up perfectly before I join them. So to do that I need them both selected. I'll right click, click on Align and Space, Align and then Stack. And what that will do is line them up perfectly, horizontally and vertically. And now I can come down and click on Weld. And that joins the two together and I've got a nice little lacy frame that I can add to my project. <laughs> 